Hello everyone, Keith Carlson of NurseKeith.com and Nurse Keith Coaching. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, the subject of interviews has been coming up a lot in client coaching sessions recently, so I wanted to touch base about interviews briefly, and we'll be talking about them more in the future here by video and also on my blog, Digital Doorway. So we all have to go for those pesky interviews once in a while, you know, when you're applying for a job and you want to talk with someone who might be interested in hiring you, you have to go for an interview. So what I wanted to say is that part of interviewing is that it's really a form of theater. If you think of interviewing as theater, you're playing a part, the interviewer or interviewers are playing parts, and you have to play it well. Part of playing it well in my book is actually being authentic, being honest, being open-minded and open-hearted, and really sharing your passion and your excitement about the position for which you're applying. If you're not feeling particularly passionate or excited about the position for which you're applying, the likelihood that you'll get the job definitely decreases as far as I'm concerned. Now, one thing I wanted to say about your relationship, this temporary relationship in which you're engaged with the interviewer or interviewers, is that if you're a nurse or a healthcare professional going to an interview, you know how to read people. Let's take, for example, you walk into a patient's room, you work in a hospital, you walk in, how do you assess the patient? What do you assess? You're not just looking at their chart, you're not just looking at... Um, looking at the, the readout on the INO sheet on the end of the bed. What are you doing? You're reading facial expressions. You're reading, um, you're reading the tone of voice. You're reading the way the person uses their body, their body language, how they move, how they mirror what you're doing or don't mirror what you're doing. So use your keen nursing assessment skills to assess the person across from whom you are sitting during the interview. So gauge where the energy is during the interview. Assess how you're feeling. Assess what the person's engagement in the interview is. You'll know when you can lean in a little bit and maybe push the envelope in terms of the conversation and become more personal. You'll know when it's a very stiff, formal interview and you really feel like you can't be yourself at all and you feel stiff and formal too because the other person is giving that energy across the table to you or across the desk. So really read the person across from you. It's very, very important, and that will help put you at ease and have you feel more like you're also interviewing them and they're not interviewing you only. That's very important to realize that when you go to an interview, it isn't just a one-way street. You're interviewing this organization through the person who's conducting the interview. You're checking out the energy. You're getting your first hit of the culture of that organization or facility. You're getting a feeling for how they conduct themselves. And the interview is a good place to start to figure out, wow, is this organization one to which I would like to belong or not? So see how you feel in the interview. Trust your gut. Trust how it feels. When you walk in the room or to the facility or the offices, Think about, all right, how does the energy in here feel? Do I feel nauseous when I come into this building? Do I get a headache when I walk into this building? Does it feel light and airy or does it feel constricted? If you consider these types of energies and these types of um, ideas when you walk into an interview, it'll help you use your assessment skills to read the organization and read the situation. So use your intuition. I'm going to be talking about interviews and checking out organizations more, but it's very important just to take this into consideration. Go into the interview in a place of power and a place of knowledge and a place of openness and intuition. Trust your gut because what you feel in that interview will tell you a lot. And if those little hairs on the back of your neck start to rise up while you're in that place, you'll know it's not the place for you. If you leave there feeling excited and feeling pumped up and feeling like, wow, I love the, the feeling I get when I walk in that place, you'll know it's a place you want to pursue. So we'll talk about this more. I'd love to hear from you. These are just my thoughts initially on interviews. We'll be talking about them more. Let me know if you have any questions. Shoot me an email at keith at nursekeith.com, and I would love to entertain your questions and comments. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.